Williamsburg, where investigations are underway after a possible hate crime. The alleged suspects are still on the run. News 12's Brittany Cadet went to where those attacks happened and has the story. I don't like that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Really upsetting that this is going on on these streets. Over the weekend, possible hate crimes swept through Williamsburg, with two attacks happening within minutes and blocks away from each other. And both victims were dressed in traditional Jewish clothing. And there is like a lot of crime in this area still, like around these blocks. So I don't really feel the safest anyway, to be honest. Take a look at this graphic surveillance video the NYPD released to us. This is the last assault on a man on Lee Street that was 72 years old. It's a quiet early morning with an empty street and the victim is taking his time getting down the block. Look closely as the suspect begins to spray him with the fire extinguisher and then looks like he may have lost sight of the victim. He runs through the other side to get a better look at the man and sprays some more. Just minutes later, a 66-year-old man also wearing Jewish clothing was assaulted in the same way, punched in the face and a few blocks down from the other instance. It's kind of scary, you know, but um, yeah, you just have to kind of keep your guard up, I guess. The police also released the alleged suspect's photos. He was last seen wearing a Yankees fitted ball cap, white t-shirt, black sweats and red Jordan 1s. The police tell us it is unclear if these assaults are connected in any way. However, they do tell us that at this hour there is no one in custody and no arrests have been made. For now, we're in Williamsburg. I'm Brittany Cadet, News 12.